Hey guys, Tucker here. We're back at SNS Smithing. Today we're going to be talking about filming equipment. Let's get working on it. Alright guys, as uh, most of you know, it's been following the channel, my uh, current tripod broke. Uh, we're going to be talking about what happened to it, how it broke, and then I got some new tripods back there. And so I figured I'd take this chance to talk to you guys about uh, some film equipment, where to get uh, where to get good, or well, how to get good filming equipment for uh, cheap. So we're gonna go over that, talk about my old tripod, how it broke, the kind it is, and then talk about the new tripods and this camera. So any of you guys out there that might be that might have a YouTube channel that wants to get a little wants to go upgrade from like a phone and a couple stacked up boxes to an actual camera and a tripod so we're going to be talking about that so come along with me you guys alright guys the part of my old tripod or the camera like mounts in where it pivots up and down it was just plastic and it broke off and the whole camera went tumbling. You guys were actually watching when that happened in the last video, the guillotine video. I'll put a little card up here so you guys can see that. And then whenever I was attempting to fix it, I ended up breaking off the entire top pivoting section of my tripod. Well, I'm pretty sure I could fix it because it just kind of came off the top and there's just a tensioning screw that holds it in place. But I figured this, since it was already broken, I might as well just say forget about it. Now this is the uh, Targus TG560TR tripod. I got this one from uh, Walmart. At the time, whenever they had it here, they didn't. I tried to get the exact same one. They didn't have it. This was the cheapest one I could get. That was the largest. It was about, I think this, yeah, this was a uh, 44 or 46 inch tripod. I got it for about $15. It's got the extendable top. All three legs extend in three different levels, which I thought was cool. Gave you a lot of uh, variety for how tall you wanted to make it. Closes up good. Uh, it had a bubble level on it so that way you could see if it was level how you were filming or not and it would just basically had a part for you to mount cameras on it it came with this little cloth bag for a carrying case with some drawstrings to close it now it wasn't a bad tripod uh, it held up here for a while my biggest worry was maybe hammers falling and breaking off the legs, but it actually got taken out by hammers a couple times, and it held up pretty well. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the new tripods we got. Now these tripods are going to be semi-box like box opening. Uh, this is the On Flexible tripod. I got it recently. This was like uh, $16, I believe, somewhere around there, whenever I picked it up. Now, I said semi box opening because I already took scissors and cut this off screen, so that way I didn't, you guys weren't really dealing with watching me do that. Now this one's a flexible tripod. It has uh, bendable legs that bends every different position. Um, it is compatible with GoPro Heroes 2, 3, 3 Plus, and 4. And it includes a little GoPro mounting thing. Uh, it can hold about 11 pounds. How tall does it stand? Its maximum height is seven and a half inches, and then the minimum height is three and a half inches. Now, it has a swivel ball here on it. So that way, you could just control it with a tensioning screw. And it basically gives you unlimited ways to Put your camera on and then it's just got this tensioning screw here or you tighten it now I picked this up 
all these tripods and stuff that you guys are going to see is I didn't go to any fancy uh, places to buy them. I picked all of this up at Walmart for relatively cheap compared to what it was supposed to be, except this one was asking price because this was going to be the initial tripod, but I found the other one which kind of helped inspire the theme of this video for good camera equipment for cheap and how to do it. So, and this one's got fully posable legs so you can wrap it up around things, stuff like that, so you can put it really wherever you want. And it has the GoPro attachment, which I know probably a lot of you guys out there have a GoPro and that's what you're using to film with. So I would suggest getting this little thing. I have not used it yet. It just came out of the box. So uh, I'm probably going to, now that I have it open, this is going to be the tripod we're going to be filming. Uh, pretty much the most of, most if not all of this video with as we're going through the rest of it. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this and then we're going to move on. Alright guys, you are on the on flexible tripod. Uh, you get some pretty interesting angles out of it. Uh, the one thing I have a slight problem with, it's not really a big deal, is um, it doesn't have one of those bubble levels on it. So that way you can't really see how well lined up you are. So you gotta sit there and have a little bit more time trying to get the shot in the right place. But all right, now we're going to move on to the next tripod is the on 66 inch tripod. This is a lot more heavier duty tripod than the one I had to begin with. And this one I got for $5. It was really, really marked down because the box was damaged. It has all the attachments and everything in here still. It's uh, basically brand, well it is brand new. Nothing's missing or broken on it. It was just a damaged box. So it got marked down. Now that's a good way you guys can go ahead and get good equipment uh, for cheap is looking for things like that. But before we get into that we're going to open this up. It has a Nice carrying case with a nice little shoulder strap here. I'm gonna open it up. It comes with instructions. Pull it out of the carrying case here. Let's pivot you guys down here so you can see a little bit better. Carrying case, set that over here to the side. Alright. Now it's got a nice heavy top. It has a level here, so that way you can see if it's actually standing square. And then it has a bubble level behind where you have the camera mounted, so that way you can make sure everything is nice and flat. It moves pretty easily. Twisting screw here to pivot up and down for your shot angle. And then it's got a tensioning screw back here, so that way you can go that way and it moves back and forth like this fairly easily and there is a tension screw in the back to control that. Now it has big heavy aluminum legs which are good with little pivoting feet so pretty much no matter what kind of surface you have it will stand nice and flush and on the bigger part of the aluminum legs it's got a foam padding for shock resistance on it so that's cool it has two separate levels it goes down with each leg it will get it stood up I'll get the legs taken out and then have it stood up so you guys can see the rest okay now that the legs are fully extended it is right at around about chest to neck level as is but it has the extending column and the cool thing about this one is that you just have this little crank and it takes it the rest of the way up to its 66 inches. Um, it, I am 5'7 and this is a little bit taller than me. Let's get the wide shot out. So as you see it's a little ways up there. So that's cool. I've been needing something to get some nice shots out of and let's take you here that way you guys can 
See down there. All the way up to here. So that's cool and everything still moves pretty well like that. And then to retract it back down, you just use the crank here. Oh, it wasn't even up the rest whole way. Okay. So now you just use the little crank here. Like, kind of like a fishing rod. This is hard to do with one hand. I'm trying to focus by watching through the camera so that way I know it's still in the shot and turning it. Alright, anyway. So, yeah. And it moves very smoothly. It doesn't shake or vibrate a lot. Whenever you put it up, it's no problem. It's just everything's a little backwards right here, so. And has a little hook on the very bottom of the tripod. Hold on. At the base of it. In the body. And that flips down so that way it's out of the way. Now, down here, it has a hook. I'm assuming that that is for, uh, you could hold a, put some weights on. So that way it stays sturdy and doesn't tip over. It's either that or something whenever uh, you're not using it. If you don't like the carrying case, probably so that you can hang it up out of the way somewhere. That or, um, or for you to film upside down, which I don't really know why you would want to do that. Because your camera and all that could just go plunk. And uh, it has this top piece here. You open it and then your little camera attachment part pops out. It's got the little screw there that goes in out of and a mounting thing. And the cool thing about this one is it comes with attachments for a cell phone and a GoPro that will screw in onto this screw and any other tripod. So I might keep, I might use the little on flexible tripod that we already looked at and use it for a self, like a cell phone. So you guys might be able to see a little bit more of my stuff at the school. All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna go over what kind of camera we're using here. And then we're gonna talk about how to get stuff that's pretty decently, that's pretty decent equipment for cheap. All right. All right, before we get it, I got a little bit ahead of myself there. We're gonna look at these attachments here that come with the 66 inch tripod. Dropped it, okay. I just gotta get them out of this little baggie. Okay. So, we've got our GoPro attachment here with the little screw hole so that way you can mount it onto the tripod. Then we have the smartphone attachment. You just put your phone in here. I think I got, yeah, my phone's right here in my pocket. So you just kind of throw her up in there, however you want. And then you attach to the top of the tripod and do your filming. So that's pretty cool. Like I said before, this is probably going to live on this little tripod you guys are on now and be kind of like a traveling thing for my phone. So that way if I go to things like hammer-ins or uh, meet or things like that, um, we're going to go ahead and be able to take you guys along with me. So that'll be fun. All right, so now let's get talking about that camera. Alrighty guys, so this is what the camera I am filming this and most of my other videos with except for whenever I was using my cell phone. The JVC uh, Evrio S memory camera. Now, uh, I like this camera. It has a lot of different settings. It can film in HD and it has a uh, one touch YouTube upload to it which is pretty cool, which is the main reason why I got this camera. Because I figured whenever I was first starting to make videos, it would be simple to use this one to send... Uh, now, I'm still filming with this camera, so we're not going to get a detailed look at it. But we're going to look at what all it comes with and things like that. Now, it comes with a battery, a charger. Um, it also comes with a cable, so that way you can import stuff onto a computer. With, and it also comes with a manual, a DVD, or a CD, I mean, so that way you can put the right software you need for the videos 
onto your computer. You don't need to do that, but it helps you set up the uh, the camera with your computer so that way everything's compatible right offhand. It has uh, 40 times zoom, which is cool. Uh, it has a 77 millimeter camera. And uh, let me see here if it says the uh, film rate on there. But yeah, it has a, uh, you can film in HD, and then whenever you get into the camera, it lets you choose all of the different uh, quality video you want to record or start off with, and then for, you can set it so that way, whatever uh, Photoshop or video editor you're going to be using, so that way it can match the highest quality that whatever uh, uh, programs you're going to use will set it to. Um, now... It has a screenshot button, it takes pictures, it takes videos. It's very simple to use. Trust me, I, I am not very good with uh, technology at all. So isn't it surprising I have a YouTube channel. All right, anyway, now, here, this was a $300 camera. But I got it for $70 because this was a display model. And they were taking it down and going to replace it with a new one. So it got discounted in price because it's a display model. Now if you're going to go look for cameras and you go to a store like Radio Shack, Walmart, anything like that that you think will find cameras or whatever, ask for display models or older display models, things like that. Or ones with damaged boxes because you'll get them at a discounted price. And so that's one way you can get uh, nice quality equipment for cheap. That's the same thing with these tripods I got. Uh, like I said, this one was uh, extremely marked down. I got it for five dollars because the box was the top of the box, the corner here was ripped off. And like I said, the thing itself is completely fine, has all the attachments still. So if you go through, go to like clearance sections. Uh, in stores or just talk to see if they a lot of stores if you go and ask and see if they have uh, products with uh, damaged boxes or sometimes it's even as simple as maybe there's a scratch or it's a display model uh, and talk to them and see if they might be able to go lower on something because the box is damaged even if it's not already marked down if you're going through an aisle and you see that it's got a dinged up box or a corner of it's already peeled off, something like that. Uh, go ahead and get the person that's there to help you and talk with them. A lot of times they'll help you out and uh, lower the amount by so many percentage because the box is already damaged. So that's a good way for you guys to be able to get started on things. Uh, like I said, I will do my best to try to find this stuff and then put links to all of it in the description below and then put a link in the description to a video of whenever my old tripod broke and you guys can watch me try to catch the camera before it smashes itself off the anvil so yeah that was fun so and sorry we haven't had like actual forging projects lately guys uh, I've been really busy and as you know my tripod broke which I just got fixed so We'll get started on getting some good projects going. Uh, Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, uh, give me a like. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. In the comments below, if there's anything else you'd like to share about what kind of equipment you're using, put it down in the comments. I'm sure anybody who's checking this video out would love to know whatever you guys have to say about this. Um, give it a like. Share it around. We're getting close to that 250 subscriber uh, challenge. Right now we are at 181, I believe. So that's cool. Thank you guys so much for that. Like I said, uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. And if you haven't already and you like the, the content I've been putting out on this channel, hit the little bell icon there so you get notifications whenever I put up videos or do live streams, which I try to do on Sundays. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought.